Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great Friday. So I'm outside again, <laughs> you know me, I'm kind of enjoying these outside videos. Um, it's just a nice temperature right now and the sun is setting so it's like a nice kind of light so I just was like okay I'm going to take that opportunity and I'm going to film outside. So, um, so today's video as you've seen in the title is going to be an update video on all the ghosty things that happen in my house. So if you've watched my previous videos I will leave some at the, at the end um, and I'll also leave a link in the bio so you guys can just click them and go and watch them if you haven't seen them. So you can be up to date with what I'm going to talk to you guys about. <laughs> so it's coming up for Halloween and I really wanted to make kind of like scary, not scary really, kind of scary I guess, <laughs> kind of ghosty videos about things that have happened and then also talking about experiences that I've probably had um, in Scotland too because I don't know if some of you know but um, where I used to live in Scotland um, is well it still is really really haunted so I'm going to probably talk to you guys a bit more about that and tell you some different stories and things like that coming up to Halloween because you know me I love horror and I love writing horror stories and things like that and making horror movies so for me I was like well it gives me a chance to tell you guys a little bit about me but also a little bit about scary things too especially at the time of year so you guys might like it you might not but we'll see <laughs> Um, so today, this is going to be an update video of things that have been happening in this house. So the last one that I did make, I think it was um, on the anniversary of Marilyn Monroe's death um, and the things like that. So there was a treadmill that we have in the house and it went off and usually you needed that, but it went off without the app. <laughs> so that was really bizarre. And so if you want to check out that video, again, I will leave the links for you guys to watch. But today I want to talk to you more or less about what's been going on. So as you know, there has been more footsteps. Um, in the house <laughs> and but they're starting to come more or less during the day now like in the morning as well which seems really really bizarre um which I don't really know like we were thinking it has to be animals you know that way you're just like convincing yourself that it's it's not like ghosts you're just like it must be a big raccoon or something but then it's like no there's no chance that it could be that at all um and now well the other day I did hear a creak as if someone was creeping upstairs so for me being me i like i don't know i hear everything so i like jumped up um and this was like not even this was supposed to be like six in the morning and usually i'm always kind of up at that point so i got up um i went upstairs and <laughs> there was nothing there it was just really 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 bizarre and i said to maverick did you hear that and he was like no but i've heard that um, the other night because some nights it can be a lot louder than others and sometimes it sounds more like a rumble and other times it sounds more like footsteps but heavy footsteps so and the funny thing is so when my brother was here my older brother and um, we were talking to him about the running upstairs and where it happens and things like that and he actually was like okay so where the stairs are just um, between the hallway and the main living room he said on the tiles above there, he says you can see um, that someone must have been a smoker that lived in this house because someone's always been walking down those stairs and touching the tiles and then walking obviously continues to continually to continue to walk. I don't know why it took me so long to say that. <laughs> um, and we were like, oh, well that makes more sense because I know that the psychic was even saying in the video that she could smell smoke and there was like, someone must have been a smoker here and maybe that is linked to it because I don't know after that I was like I want to clean this I had no idea that that was even there um, so I thought that was a really bit bizarre but anyway continued on from the experiences that are happening um, and when my older brother was here too with his girlfriend Laura, Laura and Maverick were sitting out in the balcony and they heard um, like a big <laughs> I'm going to call it a big bouncing ball but like a big ball just bouncing outside which is really bizarre because it was late at night, it's dark, and the kids in this neighborhood are not that young, so they wouldn't be out playing, at least at that time, maybe at that time because they are older, but playing with a basketball or something, it just doesn't make any sense. It just, it just really didn't make any sense. And, and when they were telling me the story, I was in the bath. Obviously, I wasn't in the bath when they were telling me the story, but when that happened to them, I was in the bath, and then I heard someone go, whoo, but it was like a female voice, which was really weird to me because I thought maybe it was Laura, 
um, I, I didn't really know, I didn't think anything of it and then when I went onto the balcony they were like no we haven't walked past the bathroom when you get when you were in the bath so I was like okay I don't really know what that was <laughs> and then they told me about the bouncy ball thing well I call it bouncy ball just just go with it right <laughs> the bouncy ball thing like outside and I was so shocked by that and it kind of freaked me out I'm not gonna lie <laughs> um so yeah so then that happened and everybody was kind of a little bit on edge about that because I guess it's kind of it does make you feel uncomfortable especially when there's ghosty things that happen that you just can't explain or things that just happen that you can't explain it's always kind of a bit nerve-wracking or something it's just really weird um so that happened and then maverick told me that recently he heard the same oh, <laughs> noise that, um probably i would say about a week ago um, again, it sounded like a woman. He thought it was me and I was like, no, it's not me. <laughs> and so that was, again, something that's really bizarre and there are really noisy <laughs> cars going up the street. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's been happening. And then you guys are gonna think I'm nuts, but <laughs> clearly like this, this one was scary. So I'm filming this on Thursday and this goes up for you guys on the Friday. So hear me out here. So on the Thursday, I was doing my makeup um, to get ready to take pictures from my Instagram. And in like my bathroom, you can see like there's a window so you can see outside and things like that. And my mirror, um, it kind of like faces and then there's like, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, and I couldn't see where Maverick was, but I heard people talking because his mum and his sister were here. And I just, just, I heard a door open and I thought that they were outside. But then I looked out the window and I just saw it was a man just standing looking at the pool. And he was really tall, he had similar style to Maverick, we, we both dress vintage. Um, so I just assumed it was him, but I was like, is he okay? Is there something wrong? I wasn't, I, do you know what you're just like, if someone's out there standing, just looking into the abyss on their own, I just was a bit worried about him. So I, I tried to call him a few times, but reception sometimes isn't the best. Um, and then I looked out the window again, and no one was there. But I looked out pretty quickly, so I saw it for maybe like five seconds, six seconds, and then I turned away and I looked back out because I was like, is that really Maverick? And it was gone. It was so bizarre. And then I asked Maverick, he was like, no, I, I wasn't outside at all. Nobody's outside. And I was kind of like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I just saw a guy outside and he checked, there's no one there. Um, so that kind of freaked me out a lot. I'm not going to lie because I'm never really seen anything i've just usually heard things in the house and then also in the house back in scotland so for me it was very very bizarre to experience something like that it's kind of one of those things where i just didn't really know what to think and i started to think oh it was a bush i'm like it was a bush or it was a squirrel it was something like that but yeah i don't really know what it was but it definitely freaked me out i'm not gonna lie <laughs> Um, so yeah, so from what I've told you guys, that is everything that I can update you with that's been going on. It's just the usual rumbling and the walking and things like that. Um, and some days it does get worse and said than others. Sometimes it can be quiet as if someone's sneaking around the house, which is really, really bizarre. I'm not going to lie. It's really weird. Um, and sometimes like doors will just open. Like this morning, a door opened and um, it was locked. It, it, I, I just don't, I don't really know. I just was like, maybe someone can lock. I don't, I really don't know. <laughs> maybe the dogs are jumping up and they're unlocking that door. I have no idea. But things like that really kind of freak me out. And you know, like I've also been looking into people's reasoning about ghosts and things like that because I'm thinking, okay, maybe I, <laughs> it's a lack of sleep. Maybe I need to sleep more. I don't know. But I don't know, people are saying, like scientists obviously are saying that there are no things that can exist, like the atoms can't function or whatever together. And I don't know, and other people say it's like trapped energy. I have no idea, but there's definitely something that keeps happening and it's not us <laughs> because we are present and we're here and we talk to each other and we hear it. We both hear it and everybody else who comes here hears it. Um, so yeah, it's very, very bizarre. So <laughs> I just wanted to update you guys with everything. And again, as I said, I will be making some videos about different ghost stories, different things that have been happening coming up to Halloween. I am in, again, Halloween spirit. I'm wearing my orange sweatshirt because temperature is starting to drop here 
in LA so yeah today I was out filming and taking pictures and <laughs> I was in the, a little dress I got from collective clothing and honestly you guys there was like a really cold breeze and I was getting really cold and I was like I probably look silly here <laughs> and everybody else is in walking gear or sweatshirts and things and I'm in a fancy dress <laughs> But it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of you get used to the stairs, so it's okay. But anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned for more ghosty videos that will be coming to my channel. I will also be doing a little review on some eyelashes coming up, so stay tuned for that because you know me, I love trying different eyelashes, and I do have some that I wear every single day that I just feel are practical because I know there's ones that are like thicker that you can wear for more dramatic nights out but for during the day I just kind of like to stick with normal kind of <laughs> just kind of simple eyelashes so I'm going to make a little video about that coming up soon so stay tuned for that and yeah so I hope you have a great weekend and don't forget to subscribe give this video a like or a comment and let me know if you want to see and hear about more ghost experiences um yeah so let me know and have a great weekend bye